I can honestly not watch this. That guy is up there so high. This is my first video in our farm renovation series. So we've owned our land maybe around six or seven months now, and we've done a lot to it, but there's still a lot more to be done. When we first bought the property, the fencing was pretty rough and it still is, but we're finally at the place now where we can tear it down and fix it all. So right now we have this temporary T-post fencing up, just blocking some stuff that's fallen down like that. But we're finally tearing out this fence line and we're gonna put up a new fence ourselves. Also, we had a really bad winter storm here and we had our sewer line burst, which is lovely, but that is getting fixed. Luckily, we don't have to do too much with that, but I did decide to paint a few of the rooms in our house. So just giving it, you know, a new look. So for the painting portion of this video, I'm on my own. Colin's traveling. It's late at night. I think it's probably like 10.30 PM. And so I've gone ahead and just moved all the furniture out of these rooms. And I got this room too, our dining room, which is kind of a mess. I've put everything on the table, so I need to clear that. But I'm gonna paint these walls. The red is too dark for me. So I'm gonna go with like a light green. Hopefully it'll look a lot better. So I need a prime and then actually my mom and sister are gonna come over and help me tomorrow actually paint. Here's the arch in the doorway. So I painted that. I thought that was pretty easy to start with because now it's getting late and I'm kind of ready to go to bed. It's bright and early in the morning. You can kind of see what I got done last night, like the trim and also this thing. It is freezing cold outside and I have to go feed the horses. But once I'm done with that, I'm gonna come back in and just work all day. My family's gonna come over later and help me paint. So my goal is to get both of these rooms primed. I think it's gonna take me a lot longer than I initially realized. Let's give Trico her morning treat. There you go. Take it. Good. Hey boys, good morning. Stay warm today, boys. Can someone tell me how to get in these cracks? Because it's like almost impossible with paneled wall here. I don't even know if I'm going this right. Okay, I know I'm looking a little rough. It's the end of a long day. Oh, and we're also tearing out a chair rail and redoing it because it's all broken. Hey, mom, what up? It is day two of painting. I haven't taken a shower in like three days because I've been doing this. I'm like, what's the point? I'm just gonna be covered in paint. I don't have anywhere else to go. Good news is we got a lot done last night. So we got the whole dining room done with the first coat. So I have to go back today and do a second coat. Then the living room, we started to prime, I still need to prime up top, and then I will hopefully get the first coat on this today, and I'll be almost done, guys. I'm telling you, I hate painting. I don't like it, it's a lot of work. So, and these ceilings are so tall, it's almost hard to reach up there. The last thing I have to do is just do a second coat here in the living room, and then I will be done, praise the Lord, because this has been a process. I just want it to be over with. If you have painting material and you need to save it, instead of having to like rinse out the brushes and all that, you can just stick them in the fridge. So there's my roller there, last day. Lord. It's all painted, we put the furniture back and done all that stuff. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like. And here we are with early morning light. We got our piano back and then we're just trying to find more furniture that kind of goes with this space a little bit and also artwork. Also, if you were wondering about this lump on the couch. Jakey! There we go, everything for our fence. Yesterday we went and bought all of this wood and I'll just tell y'all how much it was. It was $1,600. We have 176 eight foot boards and then we have 44 posts that we're gonna put in. We're gonna do this all ourselves, which is a big feat. We do have a auger that we own 
that we're gonna use to drill the posts. I'm hoping we get it done faster than I think we're gonna get it done because tomorrow it's supposed to snow. So if we can get a good portion done today or at least all the posts in, that will be nice. And once again, if you're wondering what we're working with and why we're tearing this fence down, right there. This fence is super old. The boards are really flimsy. They're also really short, like they're only like three feet. So I don't like that because I feel like the horses could get out. And if you wanted to see the tree from yesterday, here it is. That was terrifying to watch fall, I'll say that. They've gone to dump the material right now, but you can see the fence is gone. That's crazy. Unfortunately, we were not able to get to the fence the other day before it started raining and got really gross and disgusting. It rained a lot. So it's pretty muddy out here now. You can see that's where the fence was and it's been cleared. We thought we'd go ahead and drill the holes and put in the posts. Just so y'all can see, there's where we're starting. And that's all the fence that's been cleared, all the way up to those trees and past them. It doesn't look that much from here, but it is a lot when you're actually looking at it. I think it's like 350 feet we measured. So now I'm just tying a string so we can measure out our fence and kind of keep it straight. We got our string up. So now we have to measure out for our posts. And I think what I'm gonna do is just lay these on the ground and then just use the auger to drill the post to where it's perfect for that. Otherwise, I'm just scared that we would get off because our posts are four by four, so they're kind of thinner and we wanna make sure we have enough space to get the board on. We're drilling right there. That's where the board's going. We were having too hard of a time starting down at that end, so we decided to start on the other end. Because we were like, we'll just figure that out when we get to it. But not a good way to start off today. I love that little tree. I'm so sad that it has to get taken down. But it was literally right up on the fence. The first hole. Oh, that was a lot of work. We we're getting there. So I set my beams seven inches between each, and that way, you know, they're narrow enough so things can't slip through them really, but then it's going to be tall enough with the four boards, so. So I've drilled a grand total of two holes now with my shiny new auger, and so I'm basically a professional now. I think we've been working for three hours and we've gotten like three sections done, but I feel like we're finally getting our groove. Hopefully lunch will refuel us and then we can go back out and make good progress. I have to pick up hay and leave here at like 4.15. Best tool known to man, tamping rod. Best man known to tool. <laughs> we were out here struggling and our neighbor saw and was like, here, you need this tool. And he brought it over to us, so thank you neighbor. So there's our first day's work, about 50 feet of fencing. Not as much as we would have liked to do, but I think with farm work, you never do as much as you want to do initially. So now I'm gonna go get hay. Having a farm doesn't have to be as hard. Like you don't have to put fencing. We just are, we don't want to spend money. We want to do it ourselves. You know, it's a lot to put up a fence. So that's why we're doing it ourselves. We're getting somewhere. I'm gonna go get hay now and we're gonna call it a day and we'll see how far we get on the fence tomorrow. Crazy cat. It's day two of building the fence back here. So yesterday we got to about 50 feet. Our goal today, and we've allotted ourselves more time. It's 300 to, feet. Well, <laughs> if we can get 100 feet done today, that would be great. That'd be twice as much as this. So that is our goal. Then we'll be halfway done. Now we both feel like we've gotten run over by a truck this morning. My lower back hurts so bad. Are you sore at all, Colin? Yeah, I'm sore in my biceps, my forearms, my <laughs> back. Those are the main areas. We feel old today. First hole of the day, we hit an old post. So we're just trying to get it out with this tamping rod. Oh, wow. <laughs> Cut one. <laughs> Demonstration. So we measured this out. This is about seven inches. So rather than having to hold the board, you just put the little piece right in there. And then you can have a hand free just to 
hold your nail and nail in your board. You can see our progress this morning so far. I think we're doing pretty good. Like we're getting in rhythm. We've just hit some holes that have been really difficult and there's just been old posts in them or roots. So hopefully we won't really have that problem. Going forward today, this has been probably our peskiest hole yet. We're hitting ground that's kind of rocky and then being next to this tree, there was roots down there. So we had to pull the auger out like five times and just hit it out with the tamping rods. We're ready to be done with this hole. We've hit a real snag here. The soil is just so like solid and hard. It has gotten really hard to drill the holes. So it's taking us way longer than the previous holes have. Plus we are spent, like we are tired. Colin is looking at his hand because he has a blister. <laughs> It's just physically almost impossible to do anything at this point because we're both just so tired. That being said, I think we're on our last hole for the day and we're having to dig it out at this point because the dirt's just too hard. So I don't think we're gonna make our goal to do 100 feet today. I think we've done like 60 something, so just a little bit more than yesterday. We've been working on this hole for probably 30 minutes, so let's see where we're at. We're right at two feet, so ideally it would be just a little bit deeper and I think we can dig it out with the post hole digger. So that's it for today. We've been working on the fence for two days now and we're probably at like 110, 120 feet. So we have 280 more feet to go. This has been a great learning process. Be on the lookout for a future update and we'll show you the finished project. Also check out our Etsy store. We have a bunch of designs. If you like this video, please be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more weekly horse videos. You boys are just down here eating while I'm up there slaving away, huh? Spoiled. Boiled, aren't you, Tuck?